All right, so I'm making my breast hand tablets. So come here, please. What you do is you, you buy these empty gelatin capsules, the paracetam, and this pill maker, which I recommend you getting a bigger one. This only holds 24. There's some that are a lot larger. And what you do is you, you cap it open like this, like this, and then you put them in this little, like that, in the top right here. Obviously, I've done all that. Um, this is, and I recommend a glass counter because it's real smooth and easy. But uh, it, it looks like drugs, but trust me, it's not. It's just paracetam. What you do is you take this, like this, put it in there, but that's obviously not enough. So you get some more paracetam. Spread it over like that. See this, you spread it over the top. We have a monster in a closet that won't quit making noise. So, what you do if you can see this, you should just tamp, you lay it across, and you tamp it down to pack in the upper acetam. And what I do is I take, sometimes it's uh, clumped up. Is that Ivy or? Ivy. My youngest daughter. This totally looks like drugs. I guess it is drugs, it's paracetam, but it's a nootropic drug. It's not to get you high, it's to make you focus and help you focus better. So then you go over it one more time. Supplement. Supplement. Brain supplement. And what I do just one more time, even though there's really nothing much room, is I tamp it one more time, like that. Get the paracetam out of the way. Take it off the base, or here, actually, that's it. this was the base that's normally on like that. And what you do is you, it fits perfectly. Tamp it down, like that. Then you take the bottom of it like this and push them all out. In my first video, sometimes I get stuck. In my first video, I said they don't fill up all the way, but that's not true. I have since found out that what they do is, you look like this. Doop. And it's like you put the last little touch on it. And that's how you make your, um, your tablets. The first night when I got this and made these, I made over 300 tablets that are 950 milligrams each. So as you can see, if you go online and research how much paracetam tablets are, buying the powder and making your own is a way more uh, cost-effective way of doing it. And then what I do is I just um, every time I do these and make sure they're all the way, all the way on there because they're in batches of 24, I make sure they're all in there because it's kind of hard to keep track of how many you do. And you want to kind of know like how much of a supply you're going to have for when you find out what your daily dosage is going to be because I'm still in my first week where I do a shock amount. And then next week I'll level out and not do as much. for my kids come in. So then what I do, I put them all in there and I go like this to mark them. So now I've got 24 times 3 is what? 75. 70, no, uh, 72. Yeah. So I have 72 uh, capsules. And this is more than 60 capsules at like, I think it's like $35 for 60 capsules. I just made 72 capsules and it's a f fraction of the price. So I'm just going to keep going. I've got a good amount of price of 10 left and we'll keep going.